Alright, welcome to Bioresource and Ag Engineering Department. Our department has two degrees, the Bioresource and Ag Engineering degree and the Ag Systems Management degree. Normally we'd be introducing you to these in a big formal open house where we have booths going on and you can see everything that happens at Cal Poly and really experience what's going on here. But unfortunately with COVID-19 we're not able to do that. So we put together a virtual open house. You can visit this and revisit it at your leisure. Um, after you have my introduction, you're going to be uh, doing a lab tour and then each of the faculty members will have a little uh, intro of themselves for you. Um, and then I'll come back at the end and talk to you about why you really should commit to here. But uh, this is a great department. We have a lot of club activities going on, a high degree of student involvement in everything we do and we'd really like to see you here in the fall. So please uh, enjoy this, uh, this series of, of videos and um, we will talk to you at the end. Our major is definitely probably the most hands-on out of all, definitely out of all the engineering, but uh, probably out of a lot of the majors here. Now we're gonna show you the seven Bray Labs offered to students in the Bray department. Cal Poly Bray is a unique department that allows students to put their knowledge to the test in a learn by doing manner. This here is lab one. In lab one, we have circular saws, table saws, belt sanders, and drill presses. Each shop also comes with its own tool board, uh, equipped, fully equipped with all the tools you'd need for any kind of project. Uh, Bray 129 is one of the first classes you take as a Bray student. Uh, where it teaches students about the proper tool use and familiarization with shop equipment. This is outside of lab one. Students are taught the proper mixtures for concrete. Inside those tubs are different kinds of mixtures. Lab two, this is our irrigation classroom where students learn about fluid mechanics, specifically water, and the designing of irrigation systems. Each class has a three hour lab associated with it where students are demonstrated what they have learned in lecture. This is lab three, our electronics classroom. Students take courses on online design programs such as hand drafting, AutoCAD, and SOLIDWORKS. Some of the robotics courses as well as some of the electricity courses are also taught in this classroom. And some of the stuff we like to do on the bioresource side of things is we like to grow things, okay? We like to grow plants. We have uh, aquaponic system and a hydroponic system. Uh, we like to grow fish over here. And so we have uh, some uh, largemouth bass, some catfish, some sturgeon. Um, and we have, we like to have this stuff here for the students to get their hands wet, to get their hands dirty, and to really learn what it means to grow food. So one of the things we're interested in the bioresource and ag engineering department is figuring out where our protein is going to come from for future generations. So one area is mealworms, one area is crickets. So this is a, a freshman project, a Bray 128, which will be the class you take when you come here to Cal Poly. The first class you take introduction to bioresource and ag engineering and they've built basically a cricket farm for hatching crickets so that we can feed them to the fish. All right, so my name is Garrett Forbes. I'm the advisor for the Cal Poly Tractable Club and team. Um, so two different kind of things we have going on here. The Tractable team is responsible for maintaining these two tractors you see behind us. We have uh, Mustang Legacy and Poly Thunder over here. Um, this tractor was designed and built in-house by students in several different senior project and capstone design classes. Um, so everything you see here was built by students uh, in our department, in the shop. That, uh, Bray offers a unique faculty to student experience. These faculty members are not only professors, but often become your friends. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. House, and I'm uh, an associate professor here in the bioresource and ag engineering department and I also uh, am a senior engineer at the irrigation training and research center. My favorite part about teaching is, is probably uh, when the students come back after they've graduated and they've, they've uh, said that they've, they've used the information and, and that the information is very applicable to their, their jobs um, in, in a, a variety of, of aspects not only in, in irrigation and in uh, water engineering but uh, even outside of that, that they've been able to use the information. Dr. Samantha Gill, Professor of Forest Biometrics, and I have this crazy joint appointment between Bray and Natural Resources Management and Environmental Sciences. My favorite part about teaching is working with the students. Um, they're a great group, they have lots of energy. I love the outdoors experiences. Lots of my classes are outdoors, and so it's really fun to interact with them on a little more relaxed environment than just in the classroom. My name is Bolio. 
an assistant professor from Bioresource and Ag Engineering Department at Cal Poly. Right now, I collaborate uh, with uh, researchers from different universities like uh, Cal Poly, University of Missouri, UCSB, and Fresno State. I also work with uh, private companies and uh, industry as well. I'm working on wireless sensor networks to collect data from farms, and I also develop uh, robots, uh, agricultural robots, to monitor crop health such as uh, strawberries. My name is Dr. Franklin Gotti. I'm a lecturer in the Bioresource and Ag Engineering Department. Now, the reason I, I uh, enjoy teaching the students is because when I was a student, I actually did this program when I was a student, and uh, I admired some of the teachers. And, and so whenever I decided that I was going to, um, what I was trying to do with my life, I, uh, someone asked if I wanted to teach, and I had uh, no intention, actually, of ever teaching. And uh, the students, you know, I kind of thought back to when I was a student and what I liked, and, and it turns out that I had a kind of a mentor that uh, led me into this career of teaching, and, and uh, so I felt that I kind of want to give that back to students. My name is Mohammed Sadek. I am one of the new assistant professor here at Bioresource and Agriculture Engineering Department. Bray is one of the best department here at Cal Poly. Um, the reason I like here is uh, the student get opportunity to work with their full scale machineries. Um, their lab classes are not like a, just a play around with the small tools, they actually build stuff. Yeah. My name is Greg Schwartz and I'm a professor in the Bioresource and Agriculture Engineering Department at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. I really enjoy teaching at the Bray Department because the Bray Department here is, is very open, we're very open minded. They accepted me. I, my background is in aquaculture, and more specifically aquaculture engineering. So. Uh, um, if you happen to come to Cal Poly, and I hope you do, and you take a class from me, which you will, if you're in the Bray Department, then you might have to learn a little bit about fish farming. So uh, it's nice we do a little bit of fish farming, uh, a little engineering, um, so some real world application of it. I'm the uh, instructional support technician here at the Bray Department, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. What I do here is I take care of the, all of our labs, all six of the labs that we have here at the Bray Department. And building 8A. Um, I utilize my student assistants to help me do that, um, watch over and maintain the student's safety, um, teach them how to operate machinery, welding, um, lathes, mills, uh, basically help them get them through their projects, whether it's a senior project, a class project, um, a group project, individual project, um, continually hands-on, one-on-one -on -one with the students. One of the questions that is normally asked by students is, does this education prepare me for the real world? And will I succeed after gaining this education? Let me reassure all, especially the students, that the surveying program at this department is one of the best global. Uh, I got my undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering at Cornell. After that, I decided it was time to get my PhD, so I went to MIT and decided to um, go to the math department at UCLA. For four years I taught computer programming there and uh, did applied math research. So there I worked on swarm robotics. Uh, actually, we're making some in the, the club here, the, the uh, Precision Agriculture and Automation Club is making these robots that I designed for a project we were doing there with uh, swarm robotics. Sought out Cal Poly, it's a place where uh, there is research that I enjoy doing. I can bring students into it. But teaching is the most important thing here. My name is G.W. Bates. I'm a lecturer here in the Brain Department of Cal Poly. My favorite part about teaching is definitely engaging with the students. It's fun to uh, push them, to make them work a little bit, and watch them grow and achieve really hard in all of our classes to bring in someone from industry, someone with outside experience and knowledge, or take our students to see that. So uh, this quarter we took the students to go to John Deere dealership down in Santa Maria. They had a great experience learning about precision ag and uh, GPS guide systems on tractors that drive around in uh, tractors that are that cost more than a lot of people's houses. The Irrigation Training and Research Center was established in 1989 at California Polytechnic State University, San Luis Obispo as a center of excellence, building on a history of contributions to the irrigation industry. The first commitment of ITRC 
is to enhance Cal Poly's strong irrigation teaching program through outside activities in training, research, and technical support. As our motto says, we are moving water in new directions. Cal Poly and ITRC are proud of their ability to combine sophisticated theory with a hands-on approach to provide a usable product. Many of the educational services that ITRC provides are made possible by our supporters and their generous donations of services, equipment, and funds. Bray has five main clubs throughout the department. Overarching these clubs is the Agricultural Engineering Society. This main club uh, also incorporates tractor pull, quarter scale, grow crew, and the Precision Agricultural Automation Club. These clubs give students the abilities to explore every part of the Bray department. Hi, my name is Ryan Emery and I'm the Agricultural Engineering Society President. This club is a professional club within the department that hosts general meetings every month to bring students together and network with industry. This club also hosts a career for every year, the beginning of February, to bring students with industry and get them internships. This club is fun, we do activities, uh, yeah. Hi, my name's Bradley. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Cal Poly Tractor Pool Club and team. Uh, Cal Poly Tractor Pool is one of the biggest things that kind of convinced me to come here to Cal Poly. It's been something fun that I've done for the past four years, and I think it's something that you should definitely consider coming into Cal Poly. Uh, basically, these uh, tractors back here, uh, the club is responsible for maintaining and um, putting on the tractor pull uh, show every year during open house. Uh, we also travel and follow the PTPA circuit all over California, and we take turns driving these things. Uh, if you're more involved um, with the team, you get to drive and maintain the tractors and work on them. If you're more involved with the club, you get to um, help us put on our big event during open house. And all the funds that we earn from that go to scholarships that end up going back to you. So if you're more interested in just being involved in a club setting, Cal Poly Tractor Pool is a great way to get involved in the department and to end up uh, getting yourself a scholarship. If you're more involved in mechanics and want to end up driving these someday, you can become involved in the team. There's no uh, right or wrong way to go about it. You can get involved however you want. So I highly recommend it. Hi, my name is Grant Dirksen. I'm a bioresource and agricultural engineering major here at Cal Poly, and this is the quarter scale tractor design team. We design and build the tractor that you can see behind me, and we take it to a competition every year in Illinois that competes with the American Society of Ag and Biological Engineers against around 30 other schools. Um, we have multiple majors, and we're a very interdisciplinary club that designs and builds the entire tractor. Hi, everybody. My name is Megan, and I am the president of Grow Crew. Grow Crew is a club that is dedicated to all aspects and technologies of sustainable farming. We are housed under the Bioresource and Agricultural Engineering Department, and their labs allow us to house and work on many of our projects. Our past projects have included vertical farming systems, such as aquaponics, aeroponics, and hydroponics, aquaculture systems, and growing sustainable fish feed. We have partnered with companies in the past to do research on our vertical farming systems. We have so many more fun projects planned for the future, and if you are interested in anything sustainable agriculture, we would love for you to join us. Hi, my name is Fletcher East, and I'm a fourth year software engineering major. I am the president of the Precision Agriculture Automation Club here at Cal Poly, and we participate in the ASABE robotics competition every single year. Um, for that, we build a lot of robotic stuff that has to do with agriculture and automation, and primarily we focus on uh, working with other students and other faculty members in the Bray department to build those robots and learn more about uh, automation in the agricultural field. All right, well now you've had a great introduction to Bray and Ag Systems Management. You've met all the faculty, you've seen some of the students doing their work, the tractor pull tractor got started up, what a big noise that was. Now you're ready to commit to Cal Poly and we call that pushing the button. And I'm here to say, you want to come to a school that's learned by doing everything we do in the classroom is reinforced in a lab, then this is where you need to be. You want to have great instructors, great professors, and a good family atmosphere. This is where you want to be. So push that button and commit to coming to Cal Poly today. Thanks.